In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your Xbox app games are not downloading. So in order to fix this, head over to the start menu on your computer, search for run and then click on the run icon. In this box here, just type in wsreset.exe and hit enter. And that should go ahead and bring up the Microsoft Store and then you can close out of this window and then check to see if that solved your issue. If it's still not working, head back over to the start menu and search for settings and then click on the settings window. From the left hand side, Side, click on apps and select installed apps in the search box just type in xbox and next to the xbox app click on these three horizontal dots and select advanced options then scroll down to reset and we need to click on this repair button and once you've done that click on the reset button as well and select reset then once again, you can try opening up the Xbox application and you can check to see if that's now downloading your games. If it's still not working, head back over to the start menu and search for control panel and click on the control panel window. In the top right hand side, make sure you have large icons selected and then click on network and sharing center. Then select change adapter settings and you need to locate your Wi-Fi connection in this list. And we're going to right click on it and select properties. And in this list of options, if you see internet protocol version six and it has a tick in it then we just need to get rid of this tick like so then go and press ok and that should have now solved your downloading games issue the final thing to do if it's still not working is to head back over to the start menu this time search for cmd and right click on the command prompt and run as administrator in this window just type in sfc space forward slash scan now and then hit enter now you just need to wait a few minutes while this goes ahead and scans all of your core window system files once it's finished scanning these files you can go ahead and restart your computer and that should have now solved any issues you were having if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.